Alright guys, today we're gonna talk about the Gangor meta. It's a pretty fun meta. It's a little bit long and it's maybe not the best the most rewarding ever, but it's fun. Okay, it's very fun. You can always get the if you're lucky you can get the J throne for 200 gold or something like that. It's pretty good. Uh, and it's very, very fun. I really enjoy it. Okay, it's really enjoyed. You can also get an ascended uh, back piece uh, with a really cool skin as well. It's very good. And how does this work, guys? It's pretty easy. It starts at every time at XX30, every two hours. You can see the event timers on the, on the wiki for that, but it always starts at the same time. And you will do a little bit of a role play in one in 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 this place right uh, that i don't for what i understand you don't actually have to be there maybe it's because there's always someone there so if you're feeling that it's taking you way too long you can go there and just be sure but for what i understand it do, you don't really need to be there right and then one village will start in this village and you have to stay there kill all the ads in order to progress the bar and then it just sounds right that's, that's essentially it now for the next one there's going to be another village being attacked in which uh, these jade bots will have this big shield that make them invulnerable. In order to get rid of the shield, you have to grab adolescent turtles that one guy, one NPC is giving out to you, and use your special action keys in order to use these turtles to attack and burn down the shield. Now, you can also use, if you have a siege turtle, you can also use a siege turtle, but I actually rather use the special action key, that way I can use uh, just combat use my com fight normally as well during that right and during this while this is happening there's going to be another event on the west side of the map that actually not a lot of people know about that you have to do now you have kind of because you can only you, you, one person can do this event really easily and there's no problem right so most people should be doing the siege turtle part right and the other one, uh, just one person can do it, and usually there's always one person doing it, even if you don't delegate anyone to do it, right? But if you see that no one is there, or that uh, the, the, the event, the, you already killed the event, and still no, the next event is not progressing, go there and do it, okay? Be careful, you don't want to waste time if you don't need to, right? Now, there's going to be another event in which three villages will be atta getting attacked. You can actually use uh, a waypoint or to teleport close to them but this, but what you want essentially is that uh three groups w one for each village should do the events right um the middle one is the longest one the one at the east is free easily you essentially what you have to do is <coughs> you essentially what you have to do in the east one is just attack uh just use this little scanner thing in order to find the little spies uh, that you have to reveal and kill right and when you do this enough uh the progress the the bar will progress, and then the event will be done. For the middle one, what you have to do is essentially, um, there's going to be ritualists that are invulnerable, and in order to make them vulnerable, you have to kill this ob uh, these obelisks, these little statues that you have to burn down in order to kill them. And then the bar will progress, and um, until the event is done. Now, when the um, there's also going to be, no, oh. then. There's gonna be a big boss, a, well, not a big boss, but a boss, and that you have to kill and you have to CC in order to do more damage to. He will get invulnerable and then vulnerable again, and you have to keep doing it until it dies, right? And then for the northwest one. So, how does this mechanic work in this uh, part of the meta? So, what happens is it's gonna be these little bombs, these mines in the floor, on the floor. You have to press F on and you have to. Press the colors that show into you. It's a little bit like it, it will say, I don't know, red, blue, yellow, and you press red, blue, yellow in that order, in that order, or it will explode and not count towards the completion, right? Essentially, you just have to do this. Once, you, maybe you fuck it up a little bit at the start, but at the end, it will happen, right? You will get it very easily, and then you'll be ha happy and with no problem. After that, you just go in and go back to the middle. Oh. I guess if that is the case, which I doubt it, I have to go towards the other, uh, the third um, on the east, on the east part of the map to help. But you most likely will will only have to go to to the middle one, and that's essentially it. When the three villages are done, and usually you should send more people to the middle one because the other two uh, are pretty easy to do and pretty fast as well. You most likely will see the other two villages coming back to the middle one to help. 
uh, after you're done, you have to go to the middle map on the junkyard in order to start another event, another two events. One uh, is essentially the same as before in the first village, where you have to uh, you have to throw your adolescent turtles with your special action key to the bots in order to make them vulnerable and kill them, and then move to the other place uh, beside it where. Um, the obelisk, that there's going to be a ritualist with obelisks and uh, that you have to kill the obelisks in order to make them vulnerable and then kill them and then kill the ants with swords on the heads in order to progress the bar. When this is done, there's going to be two mini bosses spawning on top. So you want you want to grab uh, the zip line in order to get up, use your sky skill, whatever, in order to get up to the of the uh, to the young yard in one platform. And in that platform, there's going to be two bosses. Okay, these two bosses need to keep the these two bosses need to die roughly at the same time, otherwise they'll revive each other. So you wanna, you know, do a little bit of damage and be sure that they don't die too. You know, don't just don't one burn one and then go to the other one. Try and make them roughly the same, right? After this is done, the big, big dead bot will appear, right? Now I would really, really recommend it to put your personal weapon right now, uh, just before the boss, in order to, because you might get ki killed by the clap, which is. It happens a lot, guys. It happens to me. It has happened to you. It happens to everyone. Don't worry. But it will happen, so be ready for that. There's also batteries here that you can use in order to get defensive or offensive protocols. Uh, whatever you need. And they're really, really good. And then the boss will start, right? First, it's really easy. Just going to be a lot of circles that you want to uh, that you wanna evade. But And, and while you're doing this, just keep doing damage to the boss. Uh, then the second phase will start after like uh, after you do like 25% damage. You have to move to the next place. Grab your ship line, drop down, and you'll have to <coughs> do the same as before. There's gonna be like one more mechanic, one uh, more mechanic where you have to evade more circles, right? More ev evade more ha mini hands that he, that she puts on top of you, uh, and just keep doing damage. Now, when on the third phase, after you push the health a little more, in the third phase. And the hands will start happening. So she, he will do this little sound like boom, and put a little bit of a, of a junk uh, pile. Then do it again, boom, and put another pile. Right? He puts two piles. And after the second pile, you start charging, charging a clap attack in order to kill all of you. Right? What you have to do is essentially go to one of these piles, get behind it in order to not get killed. Otherwise, you'll get 100% dead. Sometimes you have evaded, you can get only downed, but you most likely. Will just die completely and you don't want to die because then you have to use your waypoint and just come back it's annoying don't do it but yeah yeah you don't want to die guys you know you don't want to die just hide behind it what i recommend as a commander is as soon because people are uh, they don't always see what's happening right it's kind of confusing with all these things happening as soon as you see the first slam just do a broadcast saying hide guys hide because then we'll go oh shit, the mechanic is gonna start right now oh my god they're gonna start moving around because sometimes you're a little bit slow, you're doing something else, you don't realize. I'm moving around, getting behind the, the, the junk pile, and then they'll be safe, right? This happens uh, for this phase and for the next one as well. And there's gonna be some suck uh, ability that will, you have to get away from. But most of it, that's essentially a fight. You have to move again and then uh, do the same mechanics. Be careful with the clap, and you'll kill it, right? For this one, I think you use the best one is to get the. the the best option for the chest, I think, is the amalgamated gemstone, right? The other ones are not that really that good. Um, I would actually, rec I, I'm actually thinking about. Oh, one, I actually wonder if the um, imperial favors are even maybe a, a little bit better. The reds, because you can use them to create precursors in order to sell them. So maybe that's pretty good too. But I'm not quite sure. I would pick the gem amalgamated gemstone just in case. But that's essentially the, the meta. It's pretty fun. Pretty easy overall. Uh, the best, the last boss is a little bit, maybe not a little bit hard. Overall, it's pretty, easy, pretty fun, pretty quick. Okay. So hey, I hope you have fun. Okay, doing that event. I hope you can command it as well. If you have any questions, you can always come into the stream in the mornings of a uh, Eastern Celt Central Time, right? Um, on Easter time, you can always come in the mornings of in Eastern time and just come in and ask anything, right? You, I'll, I'll show you, yeah. I'll, I'll answer any questions about it. And I just want more people to, you know, be able to comment, okay? So, have a great one, guys. Come, subscribe to the channel, follow the Twitch channel as well. Come to the Metatrains, 20 gold per hour, pretty good. And have a great one, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.